over to Blakelock. Get it off for Connell. Underneath, and a complete great defense by Chunky Porter, Jr. He's so good. Joey Porter Jr., if that name sounds familiar, Cravante, he comes from good stock as his father, former still a great Joey Porter, a defender like his dad at the cornerback position. Can't help but like what you see with him as well. Hey, listen, man, this, this draft is very deep with cornerback, the cornerback position, with D- DBs as a whole, but specifically the cornerback position. And this is another good one. And, of course, he has the DNA. So I'm not surprised. From Bakersfield, California, Rich Jr., 6'2 and a half, 193, 10-inch hands, 34-inch arms, 4'4", 6'40", 1.5, 10-yard split, 35-inch vertical, 10.9, broad jump, 17 reps on the 225. Son of former, still a great Joey Porter as well. And he started all 13 games in 2021, 51 tackles, four PBUs, one interception, second team AP All-American. And in 2022 was the most valuable defensive player award, 27 tackles, 11 PBUs, and 10 starts, and missed two games. So he did opt out of the Rose, game, Rose Bowl game as well, but we see that all the time. Joey yep. Porter Jr. Man, um, <clears throat> so first things first, like uh, like you started off, we recognize the name. <laughs> so. If he learned anything from his father, he's gonna be a another damn good defender, which I know he I know he has, and I know he did. So that's number one. He has it, he has it in his DNA. So it comes, it's natural. Um he is probably one of the more one of the more physical corners in this draft, especially when it comes to um rerouting uh, wide receivers. Um, recovery and um, good length. So, like I was talking uh, previously on, you know, the other uh, profiles, recovery is important <laughs> for a quarterback because you're reacting, you're reacting, you're reading, reacting, and trying your best to anticipate and not guess. So you have some have to have some recovery speed, um, great length to uh, to swat away would be catches. Um, he's going to compete. And I, he, he's six two, correct? He's going to compete. Yeah, almost six three, basically. Okay, so he about six, maybe so, okay, like six two and a half. He's going to compete six three with shoes on, six three with cleats on. Fair enough. He's going to compete at all in all 50 50 balls, all of them. Then they're, they're, they're true 50 50 because you know sometimes it kind of goes to the offense. They're true 50 50 balls because Joey Porter is going to compete uh, with with all of them. Does a great job with getting his head around to locate the ball. Um, also a great trait for a corner because that's the money maker right there. Getting your head around, get you have to see the ball. <laughs> you have to see the ball to catch it. So with that ability, he will have a he will have an opportunity to get his hands on a lot of passes. Um, and also, I know you probably get this from his father. Very physical, plays with a lot of uh, a lot of toughness. So with that being said, if we go to the flip side, um, sometimes he can be a little too physical, <laughs> um, a little too handsy, handsy. That's that, that's one of the things, one of the, probably one of the common things for this cornerback class. Um, he could be handsy downfield. Um, sometimes he plays a little high and that could slow his transition um, when whether going laterally or turning and running. Um, and I also wrote down. I wrote down picks and I wrote a question mark <laughs> next to it. Um, he doesn't get many of them. Despite him being able to get his head around, he does not get many interceptions. Um, and just like all, just like I've said for this cornerback group before, that's the money maker. That's how you get that next contract. You, excuse me, you get your team another possession, and who knows? Or it could be the game ending interception. You know what I'm saying? So. I would like to see more picks, but at the next level, he is going to be a dog. I look at 16, the Washington Commanders, and I look at 17, the Pittsburgh Steelers, where his dad played. I don't see him making it past one of you two guys. So I think he's going to be there at 16 for the Commanders. 
for you. And you may have a chance to draft them. Hopefully, we'll get your live reaction online. And the Steelers, it's just a hand and glove fit for either team, honestly. It, it's so it's so easy um, at that at that spot. Like I, I agree, there's no way he gets past the middle of the first round. There's no way he gets past the Steelers. I would love him as as on, on my on the Commanders team. Absolutely love him. He brings some much needed toughness to the secondary, and he's gonna bump. He probably he's probably, he's gonna bump somebody. Um, probably Kendall Fuller, but because Kendall Fuller, he, he doesn't play bad in, in nickel. He, he Kendall Fuller is good inside or outside, so that probably won't be too bad of a position for the Commanders to be in in the secondary. Pro comp. I have so <laughs> this is not a well liked guy, but we're speaking coming out of college. Um, I have two guys, but the first one's Eli Apple, and the second guy is Drake Kirk, Kirkpatrick. Mm. So, if Joey Porter Jr. is a commander on next Thursday night, Cravante is knowing what. Oh, man. So, hey, it, man, it, man I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm cool with the rest of the first round because we know how it happened last year. I was not a happy camper. Even though Jahan Doxon worked out, Chris Olave was there. Kyle Hamilton was there. And they decided to trade back. Apparently, they thought Jahan Doxon and and, and um, Olave was probably in the same pool, so they traded back, and it was like, we could still get one of them. But, and I want to say, Chris Olave got picked in with that pick, and I think Kyle Hamilton got picked the next one, or with that yeah, next two. Ravens at 14. That I was actually bad. very surprised, but Kyle Hamilton turned out to be a hell of a player down the stretch for us, so I'm excited to see what he does this year. But I think Joey Porter Jr. coming in being your number one corner for you guys, in a division with the Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, we need it. Absolutely. Um, and you guys got a good front seven, so that ain't no problem. For sure. And I think he will help solidify the cornerback position because I really like Benjamin St. Juice. Um, as long as he stays healthy, he's yeah, another. Yeah, St. Juice did play. He came on strong last, last played year. Played really, really well. But he's another guy. The only thing with Benjamin St. Juice, he doesn't get a lot of interceptions. He doesn't, he doesn't get turnovers. But he's there. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's part of it. So Joey Porter could come in and they'll compete and they'll probably be on the field at the same time. Joey Porter Jr., son of Joey Porter, coming to an NFL team near you. More draft profiles coming your way.